你们好，今天我们会学教中文的数字。Hey everybody, today we're going to be studying Chinese numbers. We're just doing zero to ten. 我们会就学呃学习零到十。All right, let's get started. A lot of these are very similar. You're going to see. All right, we've got ling, and guess what? You write it exactly as you would a zero in English. Ling, e, e. It's just one single line, one single line, because guess what? It means the number one. E. Can you guess what two is? If one e is just one line, two are two lines. R. Three. Sun. And it's three lines as well. E R sun, sun three lines. One two three. Now four. It gets a little different. Four things. A box has four sides. That is one way you can remember this. So the number four in Chinese, si. It's a box and it has two nice little swooshes in it. So a box has four sides, si. Five, it happens to have five lines in it. One, two, three, four, five. So it's like an I with an L across it. Wu, wu is five. Six is sort of a fun one to say. Leo, Leo, like a lion named Leo. Dash, line, dash, dash. Six is Leo. All right, seven, chi, chi. Eight is sort of similar to four. Four has that nice little swoosh swoosh in it. So four times two would be eight, and eight ba ba is just swoosh swoosh. Just like in English, we would write circle circle, swoosh swoosh in Chinese ba. Nine, Jo, Jo, sort of like a boy's name, Jo, Jo. It's number nine, and finally we've got number ten. It's very easy. Ten, sure. It's just a nice little plus sign. Sure. But to recap, we have Ling, E, R, Sun. Si, Wu, Liu, Qi, Ba, Jiu, Shi. So if you are saying it quickly and you're trying to just get it in your brain, E, R, San, Si, Wu, Liu, Qi, Ba, and then Ling is zero. One more time, Ling, E, R, San, Si. 五六七八九十，零一二三四五六七八九十，你 will be able to do that too。